Hey Kickstarters, my name is Rick Winscott and this is the Radius Easy Radio Advanced Shield for Arduino compatible microcontrollers. There are a lot of wireless tools out there, it's true. Uh, Bluetooth for one, it's reliable, secure, but pairing? Embedded systems typically don't have fancy interfaces to manage pairing and at you know, 10 to 12 to 15 feet you, know, you might be looking for a little bit more range. There is a different class of Bluetooth device that will get you extreme ranges, but uh, the cost is it's a little more than a dollar, so we're going to need to move on uh, to something perhaps like the Zigbee line. The lower end modules are about $30 or so a piece. You're still going to need an application to configure the modules so they'll talk to each other, which is par for the course. Um, there is a pro line, which will get you better distance, but typically at about two times and maybe a little bit more the price. There is a really powerful option. Uh, this is the Nordic. This features the NRF24LU1, and this is 2.4 gigahertz module. Great data rates, awesome, but a little maybe difficult to work into some of your projects, I would think. Um, man, I really wanted these to work. This is the rf module from Lynx, but the circuit required to keep noise under control. Parallax has already done the work. 40 bucks. There you go. Um, I've even used Wi-Fi modules. This is the Wi-Fi module from Roving Networks. Fantastic. Awesome, but $90 for one. On the other end of the cost spectrum, there are simple transmitter receiver pairs like this one. Um, very inexpensive more difficult to hook up to connect and to keep connected so where does the easy radio fit into this well for me it's it's a balance that has great features it's easy to use and to integrate into projects and it has a reasonable price point which is why I selected it for the radius project so let me give you a quick overview of the radius shield this is the easy radio module installed in the shield the indicators on the right are for power, radio busy, and transmit and receive. The headers for the shield are compatible with all revisions of the Arduino. I've also decided to break out the connection to these pins in the lower left hand corner. This will allow you via jumper to communicate with the microcontroller over pins 0 and 1 or 2 and 3. The pins in the back here are power, ground, transmit, and receive, and I'll do a follow-up video to show you what those are good for. I've decided to go with a through-hole mount, very durable, and one-quarter wave antenna. There you have it. This is the Radius Easy Radio Advanced Shield for Arduino-compatible microcontrollers.